Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Vlog. Genie Scale is a small, portable, stylish scale that can weigh just about anything. The scale connects via Bluetooth with a smartphone app and does a lot more than just weigh things. The app can be used for weight and health management to make sure you're not overeating. It can be used to alert you when your dinner is done or if your child got out of bed. You can use multiple Genie Scales to weigh larger objects like boats, luggage, yourself, and just about anything that you put on the scale. The scale is small enough to fit in your purse, so no need to bring that large, awkward bathroom scale around with you anymore. And the scale seems to be almost indestructible according to what I saw in the video. And it is water resistant and washable just in case you make a mess weighing weird things. The Genie scale is currently raising funds on Kickstarter with a goal of $110,000 to start production, but it can be yours for an early bird pledge of $69. This pothole in Panama City might have more Twitter followers than you. It definitely has more than me. Panama's daily news show, Telemetro Reporta, installed a number of sensors inside potholes throughout Panama City, which when run over by a car would send an automatic tweet to the Ministry of Public Works, alerting them of the pothole location and the damage caused. For example, one tweet read, I feel terrible. I just caused tire damage to an old lady's car. The Twitter account is called El Hueco Twittero, which means the tweeting pothole, and has become very popular because victims of the potholes feel like it's a good place to voice their complaints and share photos of existing potholes. Well, the tweets did in fact work and the city began repairing potholes that were made public by the tweeting pothole campaign. This is such a good example of how technology can help solve a common problem and definitely way better than Wanksy, the street artist who paints penises over potholes in Manchester to get the city to fix them. Actually, he's pretty cool too. People will risk their lives and possible decapitation to ride a speeder bike like the ones we saw in Return of the Jedi. And that is exactly what a group of Hungarian flight enthusiasts are doing with this flying tricycle that looks extremely dangerous to me. The Flyke, or flying bike, is a coaxial Y6 layout tricopter and has six spinning blades just a few feet away from your head. It is equipped with a full authority flight management computer that manages flight stability and altitude, making the Flyke as easy as riding a bicycle, according to the project website. Now we've seen other hoverbike prototypes like the Aerofex, which hovers on two large shielded fans. So the technology is progressing and who knows, maybe by the year 2020 we will all be cruising around on hoverbikes, crashing into each other and blowing leaves and garbage all over the place and getting decapitated. The United States Army is testing out palm-sized PD-100 Black Hornet drones that easily launch from a utility belt. The drone weighs 18 grams and is equipped with both regular HD and thermal cameras for spotting the enemy up ahead. The PD-100 Black Hornet drones are a product of Prox Dynamics out of Norway, which has already deployed a number of the drones to British forces in Afghanistan. The drone has a flight time of about 25 minutes and can be piloted with one hand using a small controller, or can be programmed to fly to a specific coordinate on a map. If you think these are cool little consumer drones, then think again. The PD-100 Black Hornet drone sells for $40,000 a piece, but it does come with this fancy launching pad. Read more about the Black Hornet drones in the Crave blog post. All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave. And check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is a couple of Dash and Dot educational toy robots from Wonder Workshop. Teach your kids robotics and programming. Go to the blog and enter to win. Our customers love the flexibility of Airbnb, but some people are looking for even more rental options. That's why we're introducing Airbnb Express, which gives you only the best part of Airbnb, going in a stranger's apartment and looking through their stuff. Crocs? Really? He left his mail just out. I'm gonna go through it, right? We know you like to look around. We're just making it easier. With Airbnb Express, you can book for just an hour or two. Plenty of time to pop in and judge all their stuff. Check it out. He owns churches on vinyl. He keeps them both in the same bag? This guy's family is super ugly. Babe, this is my impression of this guy waking up. Mm. I'm alone again. <laughs> Airbnb Express even gets you access to that special locked closet. 
that you're not supposed to go in. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Oh, I'm gonna do it! <sighs> What's in it? Nothing. What? There's nothing in it. Don't look at no, that. No, no, no. I want to no. see. Call it creepy. Call it curious. We really don't care. Airbnb Express. Start snooping.